YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. We are going to talk about the Morphe 35O palette. Is it worth it? Is it living up to the hype that it is getting from all sorts of YouTubers? I finally got my hands on it, so I'm really excited. Ugh. And I have been playing around with these colors the past couple of weeks. I think I really do have a good idea on what I like and what I don't like from the palette. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. This is what the palette looks like. There are 35 shades in here due to the name being 35O. This side is the more warm orangey red side and this side is the more neutral side of the palette. There are four metallic shades in this palette and a ton of mattes and a ton of just kind of like shimmery shadows that do only give off a little sheen. My favorites are obviously the metallic ones. <sighs> I don't want to say this right off the bat, but if you're just going to buy it from metallic ones, I don't know why you would spend $22 on a palette for five metallic shades that you do like. For me, the matte shades are a little hard to blend and they're not very pigmented. Um, I was a little disappointed just because you hear so much hype about this palette all over YouTube, all over everyone's social medias. While I do think they're, the metallics are really great, I don't know... I don't know if I'd rebuy the palette. I'm not a huge fan of the mattes because they are not very blendable and it takes a while to really get the pigmentation that you want out of the shadow. Now, I do have this on my eyes today, and um, I used, let's see, I used kind of like this spectrum of colors over here. That's really the only area that I go to for this palette, and that kind of makes me sad because this is a giant palette. I should not just be going to this side of the palette. While I do like the, um, the way this eye look turned out, I don't I spent like 15 minutes on my damn eyes and it's like, that shouldn't happen. It should not take that long to get the pigment that you want out of a matte shadow. And it shouldn't take that long for it to blend out and to be beautiful. In this video, we will do swatches of every single eyeshadow. Granted, a lot of people are talking this palette up like it is the holy grail of palettes. I don't think it is. I do really like this shade right here, and I use this one all over my lid today, but it's just like these mattes kind of in this little box right here, and these kind of light toned colors over here, I don't really use them. I don't know, I'm bummed. Especially for how hard this palette is to get, because I, like, I looked it up before I actually bought it on the Morphe site. These are going for hundreds of dollars on eBay. That's ridiculous, and that's all due to YouTuber hype. I'm not saying that the people that are talking about this palette um, aren't being truthful because I'm sure they really do love this palette. But again, I would probably prefer to have it, everything a little bit more pigmented and blendable. To spend this hard to try and get this palette and to have it just kind of be like, eh, that's kind of a bummer. Um, again, I do love the metallics in here. I think they're so pretty. Like here, I'll swatch. This one, I feel like, tends to be everyone's favorite. It's this one right here. I mean, that's a beautiful metallic shade. I don't think the mattes are built are living up to the five metallic shades that I do like in this palette. For the metallic shades, I love the consistency. They're really buttery, really pigmented. You don't even need MAC Fix Plus to build these shadows up and to get them to look beautiful. Um, on the other hand, the mattes, eh, the shimmers are okay. They're not my favorite. Like, I would consider this one a shimmer right here. I mean, it's okay. It's just not really there at all. The shades that I'm going to point to are pretty much my favorite shades out of this palette. It's this guy, this one, this one, and this one. It really depends on what you like in a palette. Do you really like metallics? Is it worth it to just get those four metallic shades out of the palette? This is the 35D palette. These are all metallics, so I think a palette like this is worth it. 
because I personally love the metallic formula that they do have at Morphe, but I'm not a huge fan of the matte. I'm sorry if I'm like dissing on this palette, but I just want to be truthful. I want to be honest with you guys and like, I don't feel like being like, this is the best palette ever, when I really don't feel like that. If they sold these metallic shadows individually, like these exact ones, maybe they do and I just don't know about it. If they do, let me know. Like, do they sell this one and this one and this one and this one? Do they just sell these ones? Cause I would buy them. I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy the rest of them. I really wouldn't. That's really it. Uh... I don't know. I'm still going to continue to use it and play around with it. Would not repurchase the palette. So I don't think it necessarily lived up to the hype that everyone is saying it is. If you have a different opinion, that's totally fine. There are plenty of people that do love this palette and I think they love it for certain reasons. And those reasons just didn't come over to my personal um, expectations of a palette. Yeah, so I think that's all I have and we can just move on to the swatches. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. I hope you had a great week and a great rest of the day or night. And please subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up if you did like this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.